Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing a tent from a company called Boreas. Here's their website right here. This is going to be the Tiago two-person, three-season tent. All right, so here it is right here, Boreas. This is the Tiago two-person, three-season tent and it's a white tent. So when's the last time you heard of a white tent? Pretty much never. So really unique, has a very unique dual pole design and a lot of headroom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it out of the uh, stuff sack here. We're gonna set it up. I'm gonna show you the features and benefits and why you should consider buying your next tent from Boreas. All right, so let's get this thing out of its stuff sack here. Excuse the wind, it's super windy here on the central coast most days of the year. White stuff sacks for the um, poles and for the stakes, and the stakes are really unique. I'll get to that in a minute. So these are the stakes. Nice little hook right here. These are machined aluminum and they're square with a nice little point a little driver on the end there so these are what uh, comes with the Boreas tent I'll put the other stakes in my pocket for now the rain flies in here too so let's get these poles out as I said, the poles have a really unique design too. And Boreas has a really unique design here. They use what they call right here, this is called the hub. The hub is really cool because that's where all the poles connect to. So, you can see here the way the hub comes together. So what you do, pretty much get these poles all dialed in, get them all put together. And that's the one pole set up right here. Now the other pole is set up exactly like it, but in the opposite, and I'll show you what I mean. As I said, this is a three season, two person tent. These little black tabs right here, that's what's gonna go into the corners of the grommets of the tent. So I'm gonna do that right now. So we're just gonna leave that one over there. And now we're gonna set up the other side, which is right here. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna connect the two together. You wanna to connect the two hubs. So there's that one. You take this one around and you connect it to this hub just like that back in and there's your basic design okay so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start with the hooks all right so there's your there's your design right here Sorry, I'm in the shadow, but that's, there's the hub, how it connects, and then it has a vertical connection to the bottom. Grommets in the corners. And if you notice, this one over here has a blue little hoop on it. I'll get to that in a minute. Twin doors, there's the opening for the door. I'll get to the doors here in a second. You can see all the headroom that's in there. It's just a ton of headroom. There's a couple pockets inside. Just look at all the headroom that's in this tent. It's pretty much vertical walls. Well, let's get one of these doors open here. You can see how big the doors open. This thing's open. This tent opens almost all the way. 
the little tie back on. Huge door, massive door. I'm six foot and I have probably another, I don't know, eight inches or so above my head. Plenty of room to stretch out, put clothes on, you know, if I really need to, even if there's a second person in here. Granted, this is a two person tent, as I said. So now we're gonna put the fly on. And what I'm looking for is this right here. That blue grommet, oh, that blue hook. Is that blue hook is going over here. And that's how you know which way this thing goes. Now I'm gonna stick this vestibule out. And these have these really great little nylon little paracord here, and that just hooks onto these little stakes really, really well. I'm gonna hook that in. Velcro. Velcro, there you go. Now, one thing I really enjoy about this tent, and it's pretty unique to Boreas's stuff, number one is waterproof. Number two, there's a window right here. So you can see right through this thing. And there's a second window on this side. Let me open this up. <clears throat> kind of keep this one from closing on us. And then we can get inside. It does have a very minimal bathtub style floor. The rainfly seams are taped. So, as I said, I am six foot, and I'll just, you know, I'll get over here just so you can kind of see. I'm six foot, about 170, and I have plenty of room at my feet, plenty of room at my, at my head, and plenty of room on the side of here for my wife, or if my, one of my kids wants to come with me backpacking, plenty of room. There's a lot of room inside this tent. As I said, I'm six foot, and just me sitting upright in this tent, I have about another eight inches before my head hits the roof. Um, so that's plenty of room for me, plenty of room to stretch out, move around. On the inside here, there is one, two, three, four, five, six little hooks that you can hang a, uh, a gear loft in here, um, or lights, or whatever you wanna do. There's also a big meshy pocket right here, and then a second big meshy pocket right here. And these are specifically just for, you know, little items. If you want to put your, you know, a book in here or a light or, you know, your maps or stuff like that. Stuff you want to get to, you know, in the tent. Your little MP3 player if you want to listen to some music. If you're backpacking and you just want to go to bed listening to some cool tunes or something like that. You have plenty of uh, space inside. And plenty of organizational features as well inside the, uh, the Tiago. So the trail weight on this tent is about four pounds, six ounces. So for a two person tent, it's a little on the heavy side. There are definitely lighter tents out there, but when's the last time you saw a white tent? Come on, this thing is cool. It's not that heavy. For a respectable four pounds, six ounces that offers this much room, I think it's worth it. Especially with two doors, two vestibules. I mean, the vestibule is really big too. I mean, I could feasibly, I, at a small heat, I could probably cook under here, but I have plenty of room for all my gear, my boots, my backpack. I can throw everything outside and still keep it out of the rain. So this tent has a really, really unique design, especially with the really large doors. All in all, I think this is a great tent. Um, the one thing I don't like is the stakes. They're well designed, but they're really hard to push in with your hand or your palm because they're so small. If they had a bigger, you know, contact area for me to push on, that'd be fine. Well, granted, I could always use a rock. It's not that big a deal. Now, on the outside, there's all kinds of reflective guy lines. There's extra guy lines as well. That's where the extra stakes come in. But you can really, really cinch this thing down in, in case, you know, a really bad storm comes by and you're probably going to be just fine. All right, so here's the reflective guy line I was talking about and the reflective patterns right here. There's your window. So 
So two extra guy lines right there. You can just see how big that vestibule is. Really large. Okay guys, so that's my review of the Tiago two-person three season tent from Boreas. Here's their website right here. Definitely want to make sure you check these guys out. These guys are making very unique backpacks and tents. Definitely worth a look at in my opinion. Really, really good stuff. Very well designed and very well thought out. And really cool, you know, as I said, when's the last time you saw a white tent? Never. So all in all, my, my opinions on the, the Tiago, I really like it. I haven't spent a night in the rain in it per se just because I just got it. But I'll do a follow-up review. You know, granted, it's the central coast of California. Who am I kidding? It rains two weeks out of the year. Rainy season is coming, though, so maybe a couple months I'll do a uh, follow-up review. I'll set it up in the rain, and uh, I'll sleep in it overnight and see how well it does. So if you like my review and found it informative, you want to buy one of these for yourself, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. Another way to help support is to click on that I button right up here. When you do that, you could donate any number of dollars and that's gonna allow me to produce higher quality content to give back to you. So I really appreciate all the help, love and support you guys have shown me over the past couple years. If you guys have any questions or comments about this tent, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Leave them down in my comment section. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the like button right down here. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're gonna stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on in Trail of Mountain's YouTube channel. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website, which is trailofmountain.com. Put in your email address in the lower right-hand corner of the screen is gonna be a little pop-up. Put in your email address and click submit. When you do that, you're going to get uh, access to exclusive content that's not on my YouTube channel that's on my website as well. So it's the best way to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trail of Mountain. Lastly, we're also doing a through hike of the John Muir Trail late August, early September, sometime around there, Yosemite to Mount Whitney, which is the tallest peak in the lower 48 states. We're doing this hike for charity. So normally it takes about 20 to 25 days to do the hike. We're doing it in 14 because that's pretty much all the time we have to spare. So that's 16 mile days through the high Sierra. It's not gonna be easy. It definitely will be worth it though because we're raising money for a great charity called Big City Mountaineers. And what they do, it, if you guys don't know what Big City Mountaineers does, what they do is they take inner city youth, you know, troubled kids and stuff like that, and they don't have mom and dad around and no positive role model in their lives. And what they do is they take these kids completely out of their city element and take them out into the wilderness for a week at a time and teach them, you know, wilderness skills, team building, positivity, give them a positive role model. And they really care about these kids. So it's a really great cause. We're raising $10,000 to support Big City Mountaineers. 100% of the proceeds goes towards Big City and and every donation is 100% tax deductible. So I'll leave a link down in my description box below so you can make your tax deductible donation. You could donate any number of dollars starting at 10 bucks. So get on there, donate as much as you can for this great cause. Thanks again for tuning in to my latest video. I really appreciate you checking out the Tiago from Boreas. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Thanks again, guys. Get outdoors.